Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing Kava in the one-minute pool on ICC. This is the first game of the session, and we have a slow slob on our hands. Uh, he plays queen b3. Okay, I'll play queen c7 and just defend. Um, looks like he'll probably take on g6 at some point. I'll do this, and uh, let's go knight b6 anyways, even though this isn't usually played. I think I could take with a c-pawn in this case. It's not a bad approach. Hmm, interesting. So he's actually maybe trying to go bishop e5 check. check. Hard to say. Let's drop this back. Let's go a6. Wow, you can do that, huh? I'm not sure about that move, but I'm not going to risk it and take on b5. I was really unsure if that worked for him or not. Okay, let's do this, and then go here. Let's just castle now. Get a rook over. Mm, I think knight e4 should be good. Yeah, this should be absolutely fine for us. Uh, let's go queen here. I think he'll try to dispute me down the file. Yeah, he does. Let's uh, let's play bishop d6. Go here. Problem is, I think he's going to take over the file before I do. Yeah, like with that move. And now we have to trade. Go back with our bishop. Hmm. I'm going after his a-pawn. Time warning. Hmm. Um... I'm not sure what to do. Okay, I'll go in here. But I'm giving him a pretty risk-free advantage. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I blundered that pawn. Okay. This game's going to be lost. I can bring up that pawn. And there's nothing much I can do about it. Check. I'll just take this. I'm in hyper blitz Check. mode. <laughs> I actually won that game. That's kind of ridiculous. Okay, I was about to resign right around the time I played bishop g5. But hey, that's bullet for you. Oh, he might be upset. He played a5. <laughs> I, I would be kind of upset by that too. I'm sorry, Kaba. That's kind of a ridiculous game. Let's go bishop c4. Uh, I think I can castle. I can take on e5 next move, maybe. See what happens here. Let's just go here and try to work our way into f5. Yeah, knight f5 looks promising. Hide or king. Um, okay, let's go a4. Well, nice position. Go here. Maybe not so nice. Who knows? Um, well, let's go to d6. Just give it a check. Go here. Ooh, I have bishop h4 if he ever moves. Um, the knight from g2. I'll just withdraw this piece. Expect him to take with a pawn, yeah. Let's go here. Go bishop h4. Now I have check. this. Winning his queen. The knight is pinned. Okay, and he resigned. At 2544. Looks like we're getting the one rook pawn treatment. <laughs> I don't know why just the one rook pawn. If you're going to move just the a pawn, you might as well go with the h pawn too. This is why bullet is fun. I mean, occasionally you'll get games that are just completely ridiculous. Yeah, see, now he's going to start playing normal again. Oops, I blundered a pawn in the center. That was my mistake. Let's just take here. Um... Not sure exactly what to do. We'll do this. He can take my light square bishop, I guess. F4 was probably a good idea too there. I can go knight b4. Um, but yeah, here I'm losing material. Okay, I'll resign this one. You got me, Kava. Guess we're going again. Yeah, it's like he's trying to make a point that he can beat me with... Uh, the move a5 on move 1. <laughs> okay, let's go d1. e5 should be strong. Open up the center. Well, not if it costs me a pawn like this. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'll go back. You could play e6, though, yeah. Uh, let's just go here. And then maybe double up on the d file. I'll try to get my knight into d6, sure. You can take on b2, this is true. I have to move c4 if I want it, though. c4 could be useful. Could turn out to be handy. Okay, let's take here. We'll take there. We'll take here. We'll take there. I'm still down a pawn, though, <laughs> after all of that. Get my rook in. Check. After all of that, we're still down material. Check. Check. Mm, can't really avoid the draw. Ah, I was going to avoid it. Oh, wait. Draw. Yeah, I noticed how huge of a time advantage I had, but I'm not better, so I think a draw is fine. Unless I have some way I can work e7, king f8. Nah, there's no win there. Okay, so a few games against Kava right off the bat. Who is Kava? Let's just check. Anton Kovalyov. Well, I played that guy before. Canadian Grandmaster. So, um, not sure if he lives in Canada anymore. This is an Argentinian flag, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But I played him at the Canadian Open, and at the time he was living in Canada. So, here we go. No A4 this time. Okay. Let's see what happens in this one. Let's go Queen B8. Just keep his knight out of E5. He's going to get the bishop pair, but that's not the end of the story. Let's go a4. Hmm, just bring this back. How about a3? And then b5. Now I can go e5. And e4, maybe. Uh, that's a queen. Yeah, total mouse slip by him. All right, back in the pool, I'm at 25-38. Not sure what he meant to play there. Hard to say, like sometimes the mouse just like sticks, basically. Okay, we have Demir again. Our friend Demir, we haven't played him recently. It's been a while. <laughs> Knight back to F3, always. Let's go here, and we'll go for that C5 move. And then maybe take on D4? Yeah, I think so. Let's go here first. Maybe I can get into C2 and exert some pressure on his position. Let's go here. Because at least now, if he takes once, he doesn't have rook C1 because I have knight takes E3. So it's a little bit of pressure. Uh, let's go here. Not sure what his plan is. We'll just bring this up. I'll try to shut down his his available pawn moves. Let's take here. Hmm. Let's do this. Check. Okay. That might have just been a trick in a desperate position. Back in the pool, Demir again. He likes to play this G6 setup. He does that quite often. Huh. Not sure what to think about this one. Okay. Let's go Rick B1. Just gotta match the speed. He'll play Queen C7, I'm sure of it. Now I can get D6 in, maybe. This could be a runaway train of a pawn. Let's go here. Yeah, let's take. And then mm, taking B7 seems good. Let's go G3. I want to get my rook to c8. It's not going to be simple, though. Maybe I can just do this. And then go here, and then get the rook to c8 this way. Let's go h4. He'll play king g7. Maybe not. Okay, let's do this. Hmm. Just systematically trying to eliminate Potential defenders. Okay, now I have the A pawn too. Check. It's a pawn. Ta check. Hmm. 
let's just do this and then bring our king over. And I can bring my king up to start attacking these pawns. Yeah, this is winning. First, let's eliminate that last pawn that he has. Check. 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 Ah. Check. 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 Ah, I got him at the end. Okay. Wow, that was a 92 move game. That was intense. <laughs> I kept up with him on the clock in that game. Yeah, I wasn't sure I was going to do it at the end. I couldn't find the checkmate. I had a billion pass pawns, but couldn't quite get the checkmate off. All right, I'm at 2555. That was fun. Let's see who's in the pool still. Kava and Pikachu are playing. Okay. So it's going to be some good action this session. 92 moves, wow. Can't recall a game I've played that was that long, a bullet game, in recent memory. I don't know if I've ever had a 100 mover. That would be a lot for me. Because my mouse speed, honestly, is like pretty average for uh, my, the rating level I'm at. I have no trouble saying that. I think it's not an, a super impressive, um, you know, bit of mousing for me. Okay, I'll go queen a4. Um, I have to watch my queen though, it could get trapped. Let's go bishop b4. If I can trade off the dark square bishops, that would help. The only trouble is I'm giving up control over uh, d6 potentially. Yeah, but now I can put my pawns on light squares. So I can play g6 coming up. Hmm, he decides better of queen h6. Probably smartly so. All right, let's do this. If he wants to trade his bishop for my knight, that's okay. Maybe I could have kept that knight, I don't know. but. Huh. Seems like there should be something that should win material. But maybe it's not so easy. Let's go here. H5. You can bring his queen into f6. Yeah, it's a little annoying. Okay, let's do this. Trouble now is he can take and then play e6. Time warning. Hmm. Check. Let's give a check. He can hide his king on h2. Super annoying. Yeah, I gotta take. Check. Now my king is at his mercy. Check. Check. You can just take a bunch of stuff. Check. Check. You can take check. like all my pawns with check. Check. Can't let him take check. h5 with check if I can avoid check. it. Check. Yeah, finally he takes that. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna resign this game. I'm totally busted. Let's get back in the pool. Oh, multicast. <laughs> Hi, Multicast. How's it going? You're on Candid Camera. Yep, Multicast. Maybe Kava was trying to take a page from the Multicast School of Chess. And, you know, you can't, you can't one-up Multicast. He invented the bad opening. And then crush you in the rest of the game. That's his. Okay, for now I'm doing fine. It's Castle. We'll go here. Just to, like, attack C6. I know I'm going to eventually have to do this. Um, let's go queen e2. Maybe he'll go c4? Hard to say. Oh, I'm attacking his knight. Yeah, c4 probably should be played. My best bet against multicast is to try to play fast. And now he's randomly thinking for some reason. Is he like lagging or something? He is lagging. Wow. Multicast, you gotta fix that Norwegian internet. <laughs> I don't think we've made any progress in, uh, you know, trying to determine multicast's identity. So I'm just gonna stop speculating entirely as to who it is, unless some new information comes out. I mean, it's kind of fun, but like, <laughs> it's, ultimately, it's a fruitless endeavor. Looks like I'm gonna take some rating points off him though, because yeah, he's totally lagging out right now. ICC really shouldn't do this. If if you're an admin or something at ICC, you really shouldn't allow negative time in a bullet game. Yeah, you got disconnected. Um, okay, 2558. I'm at after this game. That's too bad. I would have much rather have played multicast all the way. What is going on here? 
Black has a king on a4. Oh, multicast is back. He's playing his usual f4. Reversed Leningrad. This old opening. Check. Let's go for this queen trade line. I don't know that I've done this before. Let's play b6 in Fianchetto. Don't think I've played it like this in the past. Maybe we can undermine his center? Check. Now we castle. Hmm. Let's go b5. Huh. This is kind of weird now. I feel like knight d4 should work, but it doesn't. Let's go here. I need to reroute this knight somewhere, clearly. Uh, let's just go here. Maybe knight to e4? Let's bring this up. Probably play a6 just for safekeeping. Let's do that trade if he's allowed to me. And the position's roughly equal. I have to be careful about knight c5 now. Let's go back here. Knight c5 would have been annoying. Okay. That's fancy. He can just leave his knight pinned. And now he's going to get into e6. Check. And probably I have some issues here, huh? Gets bishop back to g2. Check. Time warning. Hmm. Doing my best to defend, but it's very passive. It's extremely passive. Take the pawn so I can go knight c5. He saw it. Go f4. Hmm. Bishop e4 should be good for him. Check. Yeah, he totally set me Check. up with that one. All right, this is over. Good game, multicast. Let's play again. I was doing okay there until I allowed his knight in range of c5. And once it got access to this square, this was tough. I was trying to um, avoid allowing the knight to become too active, but just had a few too many weaknesses. Maybe h6 in this position to keep the knight out of g5. That might have been better. All right, we're playing again. Maybe a proper opening this time. Nope. <laughs> More ridiculousness. That's all we're getting. Let's go here. Um, okay, bishop e3, solid. Nice and solid. Let's see if he's bold enough to grab the pawn on h4 after this. I'm thinking he won't be. <clears throat> bishop g4 makes some sense. Guess he didn't want to speculate on that. Let's go knight g5. We'll hide our king. Uh, let's take that. Yeah, he has to take with the queen. Okay, I have a fantastic position. Don't think this should work, though, multicast. Don't tell me this actually works. Please don't tell me that. Hmm. Let's go here. Hmm. Don't do it to me, multicast. Oh, man. Don't do it to me. <laughs> time warning. All right. Time warning for us to deal with. And now, now queen c5 should be good. He can afford to, like, simplify, trade down. I have to keep pieces on the board, otherwise I'm dead. Let's go here. h pawn. H pawn one time. Counterplay. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hmm. All right, let's go here. <laughs> oh, just waiting for the executioner to strike. He can't figure it out. Maybe. Maybe he doesn't know what to do. Norwegian internet strikes again. Don't tell me I'm gonna win this game. <laughs> That's a real nice time for him to lag out, if that's actually the case, when he has two connected pawns on the second rank. That's bad luck. I don't care who you are. That's just bad luck. But cardinal rule of bullet, don't play with a bad internet connection. Never do it. It will only lead to frustration and 
lost rating points. So thanks to that, I'm at 2571. I'm back in the pool. Yeah, let's take a look at that game actually for a second while we wait for another game. So he plays h6, so he takes that move off. Also plays g5. I really thought I had a nice position in this one out of the opening. <laughs> I mean, I won a pawn on h6. This was this was nice. If I can play bishop g7, but he has rook g8, and then if I take on h7, he takes my bishop. So I'm sure there were ways we could both improve, but maybe I was playing a little cautiously by hiding my king in, on a1. Where did I start to go astray? When he played this, is this move actually sound? Let's check the engine. Knight g takes e5. It might be a bluff, but according to the engine, it's the best move. So take d4. I could not figure this out in the allotted time. Here, here. Bishop d5. Here, here. Take on e3. Of course, he's playing like completely accurate moves because he's that good. Every move is the best. C takes. Oh, knight b5. That would have been a better attempt, at least. Knight b5. Then I could attack a7. And I'd also be threatening knight d4 to c6. I mean, you can see why a lot of people, uh, if there wasn't the speculation as to multicast identity and there weren't um, some pretty good evidence that he actually is a human, you can see why people would think he's an engine because he just literally played, you know, whatever, like 15 moves exactly according to what the engine says in a pretty tactical position too. So <laughs> I mean, no, there's no move that isn't an engine match. Yet I still don't think this is an engine. He would have been banned now if he was an engine. So there's, yeah, it's not possible that it was an engine. Or it, it might be possible, but if it is, it's some pretty sophisticated cheating if it's this high profile of a player and they've been um, averting ICC detection this whole time. All right, so we got a game against X22. This is a Cameron Shirazi, the Grandmaster. Uh, that was a joke, by the way. If you've watched Searching for Bobby Fischer, you'll get it. Okay, let's go back here. I'd like to take on d5, but he'll probably play some disruptive Check. move like that. Um, let's play bishop d7. Hmm. I mean, Check. I can give a check and then take here if I want. Check. Let's do that. Check. I think it's worth it. I mean, my dark squares are going to be shot. But, uh, oh, he gets to castle. That's annoying. That's quite annoying. Okay, let's just castle ourselves. You can put the bishop on d4, but I win his d5 pawn if he does that. Okay, let's go here. We better defend. And then I want to go... Um, I would like to play my knight to f6 so I can take on d5. That's what I'll try to do. You can play his rook into c6, but I take on d5. So this pawn is a goner, it seems. I'm taking it next move. I need to get this uh, bishop out of that square. That's what I really need to do. So let's go here to try to achieve that purpose. And maybe knight d5? Knight d5, he has rook e5. Let's not do that. Sure, let's go here. Mm, maybe now I can do this move. And I have knight b4. <clears throat> yeah, now, now it's a matter of just taking care of business. Um, not getting destroyed by his dark square bishop. Let's go e5. Let's bring the queen over here. Now I'm going to try to play a move to go after his dark square bishop. Let's go here first. Oops, I blundered that. I admit it. Dropped his queen though. Check. Yeah, this is. Check. This is over. Checkmate. Okay, 2574. We'll see if multicast gets back in, but um, otherwise I might just wrap it up in a couple more games. This has been a pretty good session so far. Let's see who's playing. Hmm. Suddenly the pool is empty. Everyone got out of the pool. We'll watch this game for a moment. X-22 is the guy with the insane number of games.
He's um, he's played 290,000 one-minute games, according to his ICC stats. So he's closing in on 300,000 bullet games. Peak rating of 2489, achieved about four years ago. I think he would have at least got higher at that point. I mean, he's 2191 right now, but he's never been over 2500. You would think in 290,000 games, like that would happen at some point, because X22 is like not bad. I mean, he's an IM, he's pretty fast. Just by variance alone, I would think that that would happen. But All right, Voin is our next opponent. I am Voin. We'll play this game and then one more and wrap it up. Okay, let's just go e3. Uh, let's go Miran, bishop d3. See what I can remember about this line. a4 is a complete nonsense move, by the way. <laughs> just absolute nonsense. Uh, but it, it worked out because he had pre-move c5. Now maybe bishop f3 is annoying. Yeah, I can totally play bishop f3 next move. So let's do that. He has to play... Uh, I guess he can do that. He loses this now. Okay, I can take here. And if he takes me, I have queen check. a4 check and pick up the knight. He resigned. All right, 2578, back in the pool. Last game. Those two guys going at it again. I wonder if at some point in playing 290,000 bullet games, you just get so bored you just start playing like random openings. So now this game is paused too. Who's lagging in this one? Don't cry is lagging. Hmm. So it's not ICC server, it's just uh, some people are encountering some internet issues. I'm just going to pull that game, as long as we're waiting, I'm going to pull that one game against multicast right here, this one. I'm just curious where I went wrong. I might as well analyze it, huh? Check. So I played this endgame variation. Previously, I had uh, declined to go into this with him. Let me just flip it. Because Check. since he was offering to go into the end game, I just kind of naturally assumed this was like slightly worse for Black, but it's probably not that not that bad. I mean, he has an imposing uh, pawn center, but if I'm able to play f6 and break it up, that might be okay. Okay, next opponent is Hematite Brown. This is a guy that we played before. He's going to play the King's Indian, looks like. And let's do let's play a bayonet variation. I'm sure Hematite knows a lot about this line. Um, I played him in standard many times. And probably he's going to watch this video, so hello, Hematite. I still don't know if he wants me to say his actual name on camera, so I won't. Um, I don't know what that's about, but let's just keep pushing on the queen side. That move could only be good if I actually take it, <laughs> I would think. I'll do this and just win a pawn. Uh, let's go back. Hematite, your play is definitely confusing me. I don't understand it. E5 is hanging. He saw it. Uh, I'll just go here. Just defend that again. Hmm. Let's go D6. Sure. And then put the knight on D5. This is pretty standard for this type of position. Attacking his rook. <laughs> rook F3. That's a funny move. I'm not going to take that. Because I see what you want, Hematite. And I'm not happy about it. Let's go here. We're just completely ignoring his rook, because what is that rook going to do to me on the f3 square? It's not going to do anything. Uh, let's go here. Then I can actually take his uh, rook. Oh, that's a queen, isn't it? All right, and he resigned. So that was the last game of the session. I'm at uh, 2580 after that game, and <laughs> pretty entertaining session. There's some weird stuff happened in this one. What did Hematite say? He said, I still love you. Oh, I love you too, Hematite. <laughs> um, yeah, that was, a, that was just a really entertaining session. Lots of weird stuff going on. Kava like, started pushing his Rook Pawns against us, probably because I flagged him shamelessly in that first game. Uh, then I played Demir a couple times. Pikachu got me in an, a nice mating attack. And then uh, 
Yeah, we had multicast with two disconnections. I will count that as wins, though. So multicast, if you're watching, that's, uh, you know, it's a win for me. I'm, I'm still counting that as a legit victory. <laughs> All right, so let's tabulate the results. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wins. And one, two, three losses with a draw. So 10, 3, and 1. Not bad. And let's see where I'm at on the list since I'm probably climbing the ladder this time. Yeah, all right, we're top 10 again. That's good. Lots of competition lately. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this bullet video. I'll be back tomorrow with some more bullet action. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.